planning to be out on the water for the 4th of July, it is important to have safety measures in place, especially if any alcohol is involved. Kira Peters joins us now from High Rock Lake, where officials are already making sure you and your family are safe. Boaters and fishermen tell me it's going to be packed here on High Rock Lake over the next few days. And officials with the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission says they'll be out on the water as well, making sure that your boat is working properly and you're wearing a life jacket. A busy Wednesday for some on High Rock Lake in Lexington. Nick Ezell says it was important for him to wrap up his bass fishing early. For safety wise, it, it, and we won't come back out until the 4th is over with. We know with alcohol it's not going to mix really well and as the day goes, the hotter the temperatures, the more issues that we, us bass fishermen don't want to deal with. Sergeant Brandon Barbie with the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission says you can expect to see more patrols on the water for the holiday. We'll have as many enforcement boats as we can we can get out on the waterways and uh, trying to contact as many people as we can and uh, just trying to get the message out. They're a part of Operation Dry Water, a campaign to stress the dangers of boating while impaired. Officials say 40 people had to be removed from the water this time last year because they were impaired. We always recommend that you know if, if alcohol is in your plans, um, designate a safe and sober operator so everyone gets home safe. Eric Hans says he and his family are making sure they are prepared for any emergency. We carry a first aid kit on the boat and uh, we don't drink, so I mean, that's one thing to help us don't drink and drive. So, everybody's a family, I mean, everybody's got a family they want to go home to, so I mean, you just watch after yourself and then watch after everybody else, and then everybody will go home safely. Operation Dry Water is going on from July 4th through the 6th. For more information, visit our website at WXII12.com. In Lexington, I'm Kara Peters for WXII 12 News. Yeah, speaking of